वेलकम जी लेट अस डिस्कस द की फीचर ऑफ रिएक्टिव स्टीम्स इज द बैक प्रेशर सो फर्स्ट वी नो कि द व्हाट इज द बैक प्रेशर द फीचर्स डेफिनेशंस व्हाट बैक प्रेशर दे द बैक प्रेशर द एबिलिटी फॉर द कंज्यूमर टू सिग्नल to the producer that the rate of emission can be managed or controls what do you mean by that let's see uh, your this is the publisher uh, they are uh, publishing a data for data and uh, this is your subscriber that consuming data but no what the rate which the uh, data is uh, produced by publisher the same rate uh, the consumer have to consume the data okay but sometime consumer may be some fast the consumer may be some slow the consumer can also request to publisher i want to uh, process uh, uh, two uh, record per request or uh, three record per request or uh, four record per request as the capacity of a subscriber subscriber uh, have a ability to control the rate of uh, data produced by the producer this is the key features of your reactive streams api which is uh, known as a back pressure handling that means ki whenever the publisher is publishing the data with a high rate but the consumer is not able to consume with a particular rate particular rate then how uh, we uh, we can apply some strategy here uh, back pressure strategy as well as what uh, these uh, subscriber do they can uh, queue all the incoming request for further processing but whenever you are doing queue we have also limit of the how many number of record we are going to queue you are buffering the record how many times or uh, you are just dropping the uh, uh, old value uh, we have al always consume the latest value or uh, drop take while some conditions so lots of uh, back pressure strategy is defined by the uh, specifications of the uh, monoflux uh, publisher as well as so we have to go through that uh, uh, back pressure strategy but here i am going to say how the subscriber can uh, signal inform to the publisher that uh, i can handle a uh, four requests or yeah, five data per request third data per request like that so what are the uh, mechanism by the what kind of api what kind of method we have to write so here i am going to demonstrate as a code how subscriber request to your uh sub publisher that ki i want to consume a uh, two record yeah three record or four record okay so let us jump on the code the theory part is that ki this is the publisher publisher is publishing data this is the consumer subscriber that subscribing data back pressure is the ability to control the rate of uh, data producer data emission so the control mechanism is handled by uh, here have a uh, reactive streams api have a con given control to the subscriber subscriber can communicate to the publisher and say ki i want to give uh, two request per second or three or four how many number of request i want that is the done by your uh, your uh, Uh, subscriber ability this capability this ability uh, known as a back pressure means ki subscriber can handle our back pressure using the uh, control the limit request okay so the basic uh, principle of the publishers and subscriber is that your publisher or your subscriber at uh, when our uh, publisher is published data subscriber first have to subscribe the particular publisher so when our subscriber sub, uh, subscribe this publisher uh, between the both we have a concept of subscription subscriptions subscription subscription this is the uh, publisher interface this is your uh, subscriber interface third is the publisher interface 
publisher interface have ability uh, to uh, sub, uh, subscriptions between the both and now this subscription interface have a method request and that method have a cancel the multiple method this uh, subscriptions have ability so we are going to take a uh, look how this subscriptions request method uh, can be handled by the, the subscriber so these are the majorly interface uh, uh, we are discussing uh, publisher interface one is the subscriber interface one is the and subscription subscription uh, define the request a subscriber is able to to give signal to the publisher that this rate uh, publisher can publish data so here's first let's say uh, take a simple example let's say i am a uh, flux dot range i have one to 20 data and just i am check log uh, dot if you have subscribed them and just you check this is the your publisher publishing a data this is a subscriber subscribing a data okay if you run it <coughs> so here you notice that your uh, uh, subscribing your request is unbound there is no any uh, uh, control mechanism signal given by the subscriber to the producer producer uh, the the rate and uh, number of uh, data they have they are producing accordingly the, by default they are uh, produce all the items but here i want ki the subscriber can send us some uh, limit ki i want to only through data two data then next request two data then next request two data then next request two data this kind of signal how will uh, subscriber can keep so for that uh, we have to look like that how to do so for that let's keep flux dot range uh, 1 to 20 and then just uh, log and then i want to subscribe uh, subscribe and here i want to give the our uh, new subscription detail we have to implement new uh, subscriber okay and uh, this subscriber interface if you notice that this is the interface subscriber interface uh, this interface have a your uh, subscriptions this subscription this subscription has the two method request and cancel uh, uh, that means subs uh, subscriber have ability to request this number of request or ca can also cancel the request so we are going to implement uh, these uh, method uh, so we have already discussed uh, whenever whenever a communication happen uh, between uh, your uh, publisher and uh, either the subscriber uh, so there are multiple channel open between this uh, publisher and subscriber first for sending your data part that is known as a, your on nest on nest for data part second might be uh, there are some error channel happen when uh, any kind of error uh, you want to send you have to use the on error method okay and the third channel was your 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 uh, success channel if let's key all the submission is completed so this is the on complete method on error method and 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 another uh, communication happen now here uh, they want uh, give some signal to the publisher then time they have used the this subscription now we have a subscriptions object and uh, in this subscription object we have a request the number of request i want okay let's key uh, first i want to they send a uh, two request and uh, then next two request two data then next two data like this i want to there so how will uh, imp uh, in implement this interface we have to implement uh, here let's here uh, on completion i'll just give you success method okay. successfully completed
success success on completion uh, let's see in the case of this out here i am given just simply you what kind of error there Press through. What kind of error there? On complete success, just type like it. And here on next and on subscribe. Here uh, we need the uh, subscriptions uh, uh, to on next. Whenever I am going to the next uh, communication, I have to here uh, set our request. This is our. Uh, this is the place where initially you have to set the. Initial, I want to just uh, just I am getting a uh, one variables here uh, subscription here just as assign this dot uh, subscription equal to subscription so that this subscription variable we can get here and here I have a method a request here I am request to two element but this method whenever on next on next they are request multiple times so, so we have to uh, mechanics kind of a counter skip two element uh, elements are sent then again send it if three elements are sent let's keep three element i want instead of i just uh, take a variables here uh, int, uh, count request request uh, number request number let's see request number three i want and uh, uh, one is the count uh, check when the first we have check here uh, if if uh, count uh, modulo modulo 3 equal to 0 then we have to uh, then request this a request count request number okay else uh, we have just count plus there so whenever three elements are sent i am a subscription send next request key number of requests i want uh, same subscriptions i also assign to here sorry so here what i did I did uh, whenever uh, our uh, this our subscribers subscribe initially uh, they say our uh, subscriptions request is a uh, number of request three whenever uh, uh, communication is started from publisher uh, on next next method we have increment of counter means we have one send on next two send on next three send whenever three data completed I send another uh, next request key this number of request I want so this way uh, we can uh, sub that we cannot subscriber can send a request okay let's uh, run it and look uh, what kind of uh, output so we have look here output this is the uh, your uh, first one uh, uh, first one request uh, unbound there is uh, no kind of request mechanism happen happen and after that uh, if you notice the next output here first initial request was three element so one element two element three element after that again you give a another request for three element three element three element three element then uh, again next request then again three element three element again next request okay in this way uh, you have a show here uh, you can say uh, subscriber have a ability to control the request here your publisher send data and your subscriber send request I want three element. I hear the data part they are sending. So in this way, uh, a subscriber can uh, give, give signal to the producer, uh, show that producer can send only those data. Okay. 
so uh, this uh, uh, the way uh, the the another way you can say uh, this is a sort uh, same thing uh, you can do from the sort way i like that uh, instead of uh, you can simply like uh, another uh, uh, way like that uh, flux dot uh, range from 1 to 20 and that uh, log you can say then subscribe and here uh, we have a mm, three uh, data channel that is out your is out your uh, data plus three and similarly next parameter your your exception is out error plus error uh, third parameter you can say uh, your uh, success message is out is out uh, success yeah success here yeah, done you can say done uh, and here uh, we have a fourth parameter of subscription. Here we have a if you run this code in, the, in this way, simple. Similarly, if you run this code, uh, if you run it, and then you found then you found uh, here your uh, data 1 2 3 4 5 on this not next all the data are consumer can consume okay so instead of that here uh, things uh, uh, so again out uh, here i'd like to uh, highlight that uh, here your uh, request is unbound so uh, just like a first uh, example so uh, if i want to make a request here direct as a fourth parameter you can uh, subscriptions subscriptions and subscription dot you can send a request let's say i want to uh, only uh, uh, 10 element so this is the also one way where you can send your risk uh, a fourth argument of your subscriber if you are going to the lambda expressions and if you run it and we have noticed that instead of unbound now here subscriber uh, give signal uh, through the sub, sub publisher here you notice that here say i want only 10 element so this is also way through which uh, you can uh, uh, subscriber can send a signal to the uh, that uh, publisher that i want uh, only uh, 10 data not the all data maybe publisher have a, a huge number of data but uh, subscribers say i want to only subscribe 10 element but they are uh, maybe ranging at 1 to 100 1 to 20 so this way you can also control your uh, one thing uh, this uh, react react spring react reactor uh, have implemented a concept uh, to controlling this request from a publisher to uh, uh, this is the publisher and this is a subscriber in general as per the reactive stream specification uh, your subscriber send a signal to the publisher publisher i want only uh, two data per request but uh, for our uh, flux uh, or mono uh, flux uh, or publisher have another ability uh, they have also given us some operator which operator help i want to uh, send a subscriber is the only uh, three element or four element not uh, let's keep publisher have a huge number of data but instead that i want to send two by two yeah three by three request so we have a, another capability provided by your uh, flux operator uh, so that the publisher while sending data to the uh, downstream subscriber they have a ability to control key only 
थ्री एलिमेंट या फोर एलिमेंट पब्लिशर कैन सेट रेट लिमिट एज वेल एज सो इफ आई एम गोइंग टू लाइट प्लस डॉट रेंज वन टू टेन एलिमेंट एंड लॉ एंड ट्राई टू से सब्सक्राइब हियर आई वॉन्ट टू चेक मैथड लाइक रेट रेट लिमिट एंड लेट्स की थ्री सो इन स्टेट ऑफ ऑल द डेटा दे आर सबमिटेड ओनली थ्री रिक्वेस्ट थ्री रिक्वेस्ट थ्री रिक्वेस्ट दिस इज द फ्रॉम पब्लिशर पब्लिश फ्रॉम फ्लक्स फ्लक्स सेट दिस फ्लक्स टू रेट लिमिट means so when which subscriber subscribe they are only getting a three uh, element uh, to subscribe if you run it let's uh, examine the our last output okay here you notice that uh here uh your uh, three requests and then subscriber then three requests then subscriber then uh, if you want to only uh, not three this is five five i want to send five requests uh to subscriber just change the rate limit so that key flux publisher sending a uh, five request then next five requests then next five requests until they have completed yeah your uh, first initial not unbound five requests five data are sent then again this is the fourth then again four requests then again four requests then again uh, your four requests okay in this way uh, publisher uh, provide operator uh, known as a your rate limit through which we can also control the request between the publisher and subscriber okay so uh, overall you have a uh, both uh, side mechanisms uh, you can use your uh, uh, subscriber uh, subscription dot request method to manually handle the request or uh, from publisher side we have option the rate limit where you specify the uh, rate on which uh, you want means ki this uh, rate limit ensure the back pressure signal from downstream subscriber okay so in this way uh, effectively rate limits the uh, upstream subscriber this is from the subscriber side you can say so in short ki whenever uh, your uh, publisher publishing a data Okay, and whenever your subscriber uh, subscribing particular publisher, they are receiving a data. But uh, if this uh, subscriber processing is not up to the producer, which are producing data which read, then uh, subscriber have ability to send a signal to publisher that ki I have a only uh, two requests to handle capability, or three requests, or four requests, or ten thousand data I want to process. this capability so through this uh, uh, we have a subscription subscription have a method like a request so subscription dot request here they send a request to the publisher this rate i want so accordingly this publisher send to those data and the particular sub subscriber so this mechanism to communication between publisher and subscriber to handle the subscriber load subscriber have a mechanism a control a signal through which uh, they can uh, control the incoming request from incoming data from the your uh, publisher so this uh, control mechanism pub between the pub publisher and subscriber uh, generally known as a back pressure so the control mechanism between publisher and subscriber is known as a back pressure back pressure is the uh, ability a concept through which subscriber can request to publisher i want such rate of data uh, that is implemented by the uh, your subscriber side as well as your publisher side so flux 
provide a method on a publisher side your publisher side they provide a method the rate limit you just specify the rate five means ki that means ki the five elements are sent to the subscriber next five next five next five or you can send request from your subscriber subscriber send a request i want one uh, three request yeah four request on next on next so both way we have a, a mechanism to make a, a implement back pressure and back pressure have multiple strategy we can go through as well as hope uh, it's clear uh, what are the back pressure back pressure is just like a one mechanism through which a rate between the publisher and subscriber can be controlled uh, okay that's a complete uh, my discussion uh, thanks for uh, watching this video